Good morning! Day number three here in Kauai and we are having a blast so far. Today we decided we're gonna drive up north to Princeville and Hanalea area and on the way we stopped by this market called Pono Market. I hope I'm not like saying all these names wrong if I am I'm sorry and you're welcome to correct me <laughs> in the comments below but we stopped uh, at Pono Market it's in a little town called Kappa A and this Pono Market is known for like really good poke so we ordered some to start the day uh, let me show you what we got Asmar got this it's like a plate that has an entree which is fried chicken and rice and two pokes and a side how do you like it babe uh, so far so good really yeah it's very fresh oh nice yeah and i just got a poke bowl so this is brown rice two types two flavors of poke and a side salad this is like a salad with salmon let me see how good this is this looks so good mm. so flavorful and spicy this one is spicy ahi and this one is sesame ahi I think I said that right. This is spicy. Let me try this one. Mm. They're both really good. And this salad, it's almost like a salsa that has salmon in it. Let me see. I wish I had some chips with this. Mm. This is so refreshing. Oh my god, so good. Definitely I must try. That was the best poke here in uh, Kauai that we had. Not to mention very, very affordable. Like everything we got was like $27 something and some change, um, which is really good price for a meal for two here on the island. So we're very happy with that. And then right next door, there was a coffee shop called Pono Coffee and Bakery, I wanna say. And they had really good coffee, so I got a drink, as Mark got a drink too. For our next stop, we're going to a waterfall. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce the name of that waterfall, and I'm not even going to try. I'll just write it on the screen, because I don't think I can. Uh, but it's supposed to be a really nice hiking trail that leads to a waterfall, where we can swim or touch the waterfall. So that's super exciting. Uh, my feet is doing much better. I'm able to walk on my feet. I don't think I can hike as fast or as long as I typically do, but let's see how far I get on this one. We are here on the hike. It's so foresty. It, it's it's just like a jungle. It's so nice and it started raining. So I have like raindrops on my face. I am somewhat wet, but we don't mind at all. It's just such a great feeling. Let me show you what it looks like. One of the things I learned from my research of like what to do and what to bring to Kauai is hiking boots are really important. Like as you can see, it's raining right now. There's so many roots and branches on the floor, on the trail. Oops, see, I almost tripped. Um, so hiking boots are really important. Right now the rain, it just started raining. There's not that much water on the ground. See, the ground is somewhat still dry, but it's already feeling slippery and you really have to pay attention. So for that reason, I am going to put my phone away so I can focus on the trail. But when I get to the waterfall, of course, I will show you. Okay, so we made it down this trail over there. And then now we're walking along this stream over here. And that is supposed to lead us to the waterfall. I think it's all the way over there somewhere. So let's see. Listen, but let me show you how it is. I'm gonna wait for these guys to jump. 
Wow. There you go. And then they have to swim down this stream. And then there is a trail where they come up from this side. So the waterfall was so amazing. And to be honest, I'm disappointed that I didn't get to jump. I totally think I can do it. But somebody just kept telling me not to do it. He was so worried I was gonna like break my head or something. <laughs> so anyways, I didn't do it. He didn't do it either. Okay. Do it, do it. You got it, <laughs> Lava? Oh my God. This is Asmar's attempt at being in my videos. A while back, I don't know how long ago, there was a huge mudslide between Princeville and Honolulu. So whenever you want to go from Princeville to Honolulu, there is um, a cutoff time because they have only one way uh, road for the cars going in both directions. So there is a cutoff time of when you can enter and when you can get out and we barely, barely made it. But I'm so glad because there is a one beach and a few spots. Um, I wanted to check in Honolulu, so we made it here. So after literally an hour and a half of driving, trying to find parking by the beaches that we thought we should go visit, like Anini Beach or um, Tunnels Beach or Honolulu Beach, all these beaches are known to be really popular. That's how I know the names. That's how I thought I should go. But parking is extremely hard or I should say impossible. We drove around for so long and the streets, uh, the road is really windy. You have to kind of like pull over to the side of the road if someone is coming from the other direction. So it was really, it was starting to get really frustrating because we couldn't find parking. We had to stop for other cars that were going the other way. And so did the other cars had to stop for us too. So we finally just like kept to driving around along the shore. So we just literally pulled over anywhere we could pull over and have found parking spot and just went to that particular beach that's not known for anything so it's hard for me to recommend this spot but the point is you don't have to go to all the popular beaches or what's known to be popular because literally any beach on this island is so 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 beautiful i'm gonna show you what this beach looks like right now and it's, it was really so much easier to get here than to go to any of the other popular beaches this is the beach we landed on it is so beautiful super kids friendly as you can see there's like kids learning how to surf and snorkel yet it's not so crowded like it's almost like a private beach if you ask me the sand is super yellow the water is so warm <laughs> that's a smart over there um so i'm glad we ended up doing that rather than having to go to like one of the popular beaches because it was just wasting our time and we were so anxious to get to the beach and get in the water so i'm glad we are here so we got done with the beach, we changed. We're gonna go grab dinner, but before we go, we have to stop by this popular cave. I'm gonna attempt to say the name of it. It's called Menenholo Cave. I think I said that right. I'll put it on the screen because I'm not sure. But it's so deep from inside. Like I saw people riding their bikes in there. I'm not gonna try to walk in because it's actually really rocky and my feet is kind of sore and tender from being in the beach but this is what it looks like from the inside it's so cool it's so huge it's like dripping water and too. it's also yeah it has some water drips i saw one earlier so there is some water drips in here and we did take oh this is nice in here i like that uh we did take some pictures in here oh my god i love my sun kissed skin i love it but we took some pictures i'm uploading them to instagram like tonight or tomorrow morning so do check out my instagram since we are here at the north shore we drove by what seems to be the Hanalei downtown and it's absolutely a gorgeous place like i love it so we decided to pull over we're gonna stay here for dinner um we're still we still haven't decided what we're gonna eat for dinner yet or which place we're gonna go to i have a few options that i had looked up before our trip here but asmar always has a big say on what we eat <laughs> so he's actually doing his research right now on where we're gonna go but anyways the point is if you come to the north shore and you have a couple of hours try to spend them here in this downtown they have really cute shops and right here they have 
and oceanic and tribal art gallery it's actually really cool it has a bunch of displays of different history and pieces of information that i think are very interesting to this island or this town and they have a lot of like gift shop and handmade stuff so it's a good place to also pick up a gift if you're wanting to do so also i'm seeing plenty of string lights and torches outside the buildings so i imagine this place gets really beautiful at night time for dinner we came to this really nice restaurant on the second floor they had a beautiful atmosphere and it was called north side grill and sushi a small ordered the prime tip and i got the avocado pesto linguine with grilled chicken on the top and it was so good